all Ugandans, even ordinary Ugandans know that the Nam ended. So where is it that, I mean, you can't tell such a black hand like G77 ended. So which, which conference are they policing? Even the guests left, many of them left a long time over the weekend, they left. Many left on Saturday, Sunday. It's today is Thursday. Which conference are they policing? So it's very, very unfortunate. And we are making a call to the judiciary not to be complicit in a, uh, a persecution. And in my case, there are, I think, thousands of such similar trumped up cases that never get anywhere. The intention of these cases is very clear. It is simply to deprive us from doing our work, to impoverish us by spending a lot of time here and the expenses coming to court. It is not intended to secure any just uh, cause for anybody because there was no case to start with. When this case was filed here, around the same time, a similar case was filed, uh, which was never prosecuted and eventually it was dismissed. So this one, I believe, is heading in the same direction. It is simply part of uh, persecution, not prosecution. This is persecution, state persecution, of those who oppose what they do, and uh, the intention is uh, simply to uh, harass and, uh, you know, cause inconvenience and uh, weaken and uh, impoverish those who are opposing what they are doing, the abuse of the state that uh, they are engaged in. Court is a court of truth and justice. It can't be a court of lies, blatant lies for that matter. The state prosecutor who is executing that duty for and on behalf of all Ugandans, because for one to be prosecuted in the name of the state, you are prosecuting for and on behalf of all Ugandans. Of all Ugandans. So it's like a, the whole of Uganda is against Dr. Vesky and some point. And you come and tell a lie on behalf of Ugandans. That is something which shouldn't be taken lightly. It's, bad, it's unfortunate. The court did not pronounce itself on that matter. Uh, we expected uh, a serious uh, indictment against the prosecutor who told the lies. Because it's even an offense. Pajari. You know, it's an offense in under our law. Pajari. Telling court lies. It's an offense called perjury. So, uh, the prosecutor has committed perjury before the magistrate has committed an offense. And if we had uh, a country which respects the rule of law, that prosecutor would be prosecuted for that.